Hi, Rich Pastorella here from Hazel and Kung Fu. Today we're going to talk about our kids program, the Kids Kung Fu program. How will it benefit you? What are the reasons why any kid would want to take the Kids Kung Fu program? Why would the parent want the kid to participate? First and foremost, I'd like to start by reminding you that all training classes, all martial arts classes accomplish all of our goals of personal development, health, and self-defense. Okay, Kids Kung Fu is no exception to that rule. But we start with personal de development here first. Kids are young, they're impressionable, and they're developing habits that are going to serve them the rest of their life. It is our goal to develop these character attributes. The character attributes are what makes the difference between one person and another. The character attributes that will serve them to optimizing their life and having them just the highest quality life that they could possibly lead. We're going to do everything we can to accomplish that for you. And to give you an idea of what, we, what it is we're going to try to accomplish, we're going to talk about some of the elements that occur in our first class, when a kid walks into our first class. The first move that we teach them, the most important move, is the attention stance. The heels together, feet 45 degrees. And you might say, well, why in the world is that important? But the attention stance teaches a person to put their mind on one thing at a time. And that's, that's developing their attention. And we're going to take them through a step-by-step -step process to develop their attention, just like a muscle and take them from being able to stand still and focusing only on only allowing blinking and breathing to being able to, to control their attention under harder and harder circumstances so that they can control their attention when they're taking a test, they can control their attention when they're in an athletic event, they can control their attention when they're developing relationships between themselves and other people. We're going to teach them how to develop their attention and this is a, a fundamental character attribute. The second move in martial arts, and the second most important move, is the bow. You might say, well, why in the world is the bow important? Well, the bow teaches respect. And this was my father's first rule of self-defense. Okay, if you wanted to, to, to avoid you know, getting hurt or getting injured or getting beaten in front of everyone else and being humiliated, you had to follow my father's first rule of self-defense, and it never failed me. And his first rule of self-defense was to respect other people because... His first rule of self-defense went further to explain that there always is someone tougher than you are. Okay, So if we don't want to meet that person who's tougher than we are, that person that's made just for us when we need a lesson in humility, the way to avoid that is to learn to, to make a habit of respecting other people. And you know, we teach people a definition for respect. What does respect mean? Respect means to treat others the way you want to be treated. This gets back to our basic Christian, uh, Judeo-Christian heritage. You know, the, the golden rule, do unto others as you'd have them do unto you, okay? And we teach them this in detail, and we, may, we, we are unashamed in teaching this fundamental principle of teaching people to practice respect. Not just to understand it academically, but to practice respect. The third principle in any kid's uh, kung fu program is to teach them to develop fighting spirit, okay? To be able to... to we, when we do this by having them count out loud while they're practicing individual techniques and to, to uh, show that they're putting their full attention on what they're doing and they're trying hard. Okay, this is something that's left out. You know, sometimes we coddle kids a little bit too much and we don't teach this fundamental attribute to be able to, to try hard and persevere under difficult circumstances. And remember, Kung Fu means time and effort. Kung Fu is about the learning how to put in prop, the proper amount of effort to be able to accomplish a goal. And this is something that any person who wants to be successful in any context has to learn how to try hard and learn how to develop fighting spirit. Okay? The fourth thing that we teach is discipline. And what does discipline mean? Discipline means being able to withstand a little bit of pain in the short term to avoid you doing something that's going to cause you a lot of pain in the long term. And this is usually administered by a coach. And we teach people to reframe how they think about discipline. You know, I hate that coach because he's always making me do things I don't want to do. Well, we get, we get them away from that idea. and we, we get them to understand that there's consequences to their action. And that if, they, if they, that coach wasn't there to push them in the right direction, that things might go a lot worse. And it might be against their best interests if they didn't apply a little bit of discipline. So we get them to look at authority figures in a little different way. And then finally, fifth, we're looking at self defense or we're looking at self discipline and self discipline is the ultimate goal is knowing what you want to do and being able to do it and once the person knows what they want to do 
and they're able to just say that they're going to do it and they can do it, then we're starting to develop self-mastery. And the per we now have a different person. We now have a person who isn't uh, ruled by their, their base instincts. We have a person who is ruled by higher spiritual goals and aspirations and they're able to say they're going to do it and they're able to do it. And this is what we try to accomplish in our Kids Kung Fu program. I hope you'll have your kid down for a free private lesson. Thank you.